Hi guys, how are you all doing? If you're new here, my name is Rodian and welcome to the channel. Now today, I'm going to be showing you all how to build a gothic arch like this one behind me. Well, in fact, exactly like this one behind me. Before you lay any bricks when building an arch, the first thing you need to do is work out the turning piece or the form or the piece that you use to fit the bricks around to actually make the arch. So what we'll do is we'll jump straight over and do that first off and then come back and start laying a few bricks. Before I show you how to set out this arch, there's a couple of tools we're going to need to A, do it on the paper and B, do it on site. Those are going to be a pair of compasses and a pencil. Now this is for on the paper, but when we come to doing it on site, we'll trade this out for a trammel and a pencil. Now all the links for all the tools I use are going to be down in the description. So if you'd like to check those out, then they're down there. Also, we will need for a piece of paper, a ruler. And when it comes to do it on site, we'll swap this out for a four foot level and a tape measure. Okay. Now there are a couple of different ways of doing these arches. So what I'll do is I'll show you first off the one that I'm going to build. And then from there, I'll show you how to do the different ones. This is a relatively simple arch to do. I'd say it's probably the second most simple arch as opposed to a semicircular arch. So again, very simple. Right from here, take your pair of compasses and pencil and put spiky point on one side of the springing point. Set your pencil to the other side, like so, and very simply, there's one half of it done. All you do is transfer that compass over to the other side. Bang, Gothic arch ready to go. It is really that simple. Now, in a case of changing these to making it a different style, different height, different low of Gothic arch, all you need to do is mark, say for example, you wanted the, this to be sort of a bit higher. All you do is you take your tape measure. In this case, we're going to mark off two centimeters. Now you do the same on the other side. Well, once you put these two marks down on your wall, or well, it won't be on your wall, it'll be on your piece of plywood before you build the wall. You take your compasses and you put the spiky point on that mark that you just marked over the other side of where the springing point is. You set your pencil to the side of the arch where it's going to be starting from again from that springing point and just run it up. Do exactly the same on the other side. There you go, you have a gothic arch that's just a little bit taller. If you want one that's a little bit shorter, all you do is you do the same process but in reverse. So what we'll do in this case, we'll go two centimeters inside. And then from there, spiky point, I'll tell you what, I should really draw a line across that bringing point to make sure I get the spiky part in the right place. So again, spiky part, and run it up and you'll get a shorter gothic arch. And there we go. You can do this to any size you want. If you want to come all the way over here and have a really tall arch, you can do that. If you want to come as close in as you can and get a really low arch, you can do that as well. These arches are so very simple to do. Just two marks, two points. You don't even have to put the marks in. As you saw to start with, spike, side, run it in, and that's it. So for simple, uh, for simplicity, what I'm going to do is we'll go outside, go on site, get a trammel, get a level, and I will do the gothic arch. Just a very simple one from here to there. Bang, done. Well, now that we have done this here, we're ready to go. What we'll do is we'll go out on site now. I'll cut out the template, get that all built up, and we'll get ready to go and lay a few bricks.
and here we have the turning piece ready to go. As you saw from that bit of footage, I have marked out gauge on the side of it with uh, a compass, setting it to 74 mil. A piece of string from the top to the bottom, measure that piece of string and divide it by gauge, which is 75 mil. In this case, it was 74 mil. Very easy to work out. 740 divided by 10, 74. Also, I have put a brace on the back just because I find that these gothic arches, gothic arches tend to they be a bit cumbersome, a little bit top heavy. So just brace it from behind just in case. Don't brace it from the front because you've got your string line and you don't want to get in the way of it basically. So always do it from the back. And if you're in cavity wall or something like that, then just you can brace it against the cavity wall to save having a massive piece of wood going onto the inside. From there, I think that's pretty much the size of it. So what we'll do is we'll get a few bricks laid, eh? All right, let's get going. Right, there we go. There he goes, one lovely finished gothic arch. I think it looks absolutely beautiful in these reclaimed bricks. Yeah, very nice. And especially with that old play button in the back there. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Right, two things. One, my battery died as I was putting the keystone in, so unfortunately I didn't have any footage of me doing that. Bit of a shame. And two, there is a mistake in this wall. If anyone can spot it, I'll tell you what, Pause the video now, go down in the comments and let me know if you can see what the mistake is. Right, have you all done that? Okay, what I did is if you'll notice on this side here, that does not look very straight and plumb. Neither with this. It ain't plumb at all, I'll tell you that, because I didn't use a level on the sides and because of that, there is a three quarter cut right there. Now, if this was in a real world situation, I would obviously not do that. I only just roughly did it just to show you how to do the arch for the video save a bit of time because I didn't really have much time to do this video but yeah that's the only mistake let me know guys down in the comments what do you think of this is this something you'd do yourself and if so I'll tell you what my Instagram is down in the comment in the uh, description if you do end up building one of these then tag me in it I would love to see some uh, some gothic arches by you guys 
yeah, on the whole, very nice looking looking arch. Very happy with that. Right guys, that's all the time we have for this episode today. Please do leave a like down below if you've enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you aren't already. And I will see you guys in the next episode for some more brickwork. Take care and I'll see you later. Ta-ra.